install the cell phone holder hack that I created. But in order to do that, we are gonna first install the USB outlet. And there's a couple ways to do it. One is you could buy a dual outlet from Amazon like this. This was actually 18 bucks, but it comes with just a couple of lead wires. You'd still need to hack it into your, uh, your, your 12 volt system on the Skidoo. And, uh, but the nice thing is for 18 bucks, it has a three volt, three amp charging point and a 2.4 amp charging point. So it doesn't matter what phone you're using, this sucker will charge it. The only caveat is it doesn't fit in the hole. So you're going to have to hog out the hole on the Skidoo. Um, the other option is to go with the Skidoo power outlet kit. And I'll put a link to both in the description. But you can see I, when I bought this one, I thought it's identical. Look at that. And uh, the only thing is this, is this is a bigger diameter so it doesn't fit in the hole where this one will slide right in. It's pretty darn close. The other advantage of the Skidoo one, this kit was about 65 bucks and it comes with the harness and the splitter so that you can easily connect it to your system. So in this case where we're going riding tomorrow, we don't have a lot of time tonight, this thing is gonna be uh, easy to put in. And if I want to change it to put this three amp one in, the wiring's all there. I just have to swap out this, this fixture right here and we're good to go. So let's get right to it. I've taken the blade off. We're gonna pop the uh, the lid off of the glove box and you just lift up and then you just pull it, pull it out. And it, you can see there, it'll just slide right out with the pins. We can get rid of our garbage. And, uh, and then there's a couple of torques, uh, torque screws we need to remove here that'll actually allow us to do it. While we've got this out, we're gonna install LEDs in this thing. We've got some B2 stingers gonna go into it, get rid of these halogens, and this thing will be starting to, to really rock and roll. I'm just gonna do these by hand. This will pivot up, out like that. And then you can lift the glove box right out. We're going to actually, <clears throat> we have to take the hood off, so we're going to actually unclip this. Pull out apart. There's another connector in here. And slide out, then that'll come off. So to take the hood off, there's two screws here, and then there's two up by the handlebars. So it's the ones with the washers here. And we need a Phillips screwdriver. It's probably one in the tool bag there. Because we gotta we gotta loosen off the air box. Yeah. I got my toolbox in my car if you need anything. It looks so then there's two two uh, torque screws here that have to come out. So there we go. <clears throat> And then the last thing we gotta do is, is unhook the air box. Just loosen that air box clamp off. And then the last two to remove the hood are right here. What we got here is this harness that you'll see and sometimes it's stuck up on this post here you'll see this th this plug is plugged in here but because they've already got an accessory which is the helmet uh, jack they've already used it pop that out like that we can push this back up in there this was stuck like that that's a spare one but we, uh, we need to keep this plugged in, so it's gonna plug into the Y connector. We're gonna plug in this to the 
heated helmet jack. This will, this is going to go up to the accessory plug. So we've got it plugged in. We're going to tuck that back up in there. We can zip tie it, and then that goes like that. So we can we can put the hood back on. And then this this harness will plug in. And then these these wires will go to our our USB accessory. So let's put the hood back on. The gauge, everything. I think that's, yeah, that's the whole higher. That's the whole harness. You're good. This here. Go there. Yep. Okay, come on. My lovely assistant is going to push the okay. back in. Let's fire that on. And then we're good. Yep. Oh, this didn't go in. Oh, what the heck? There's little tabs here. On the Gen 5, you can actually look in and see that you've actually slid it in place. Nope. There, they're in. Is that right? Yep, they're in now. You can see because that doesn't flip out. Watch it. Ricky! Ricky! Tripping off my shopping carts. So we just got to put in the six, uh, six bolts again and we're good to go. Let's put but you can see here there's a there's a plug in the box and on the back there's a dial and just turn the dial and pull that plug out like that. So the USB unit you just unscrew the nut. And here's the thing with the Amazon one is it wouldn't fit through this hole. We want the I think we want the flap to go down so gravity will hold it down. Flip it over. Yeah, you're good. Got this nut. Okay, and then over here on the on the uh, unit, there, you can good. see there's a little plus and minus. So that's positive as the top, negative is the bottom. And then when we get in here, so red's positive, black's negative. Just like that. Don't forget to plug in all your Have any screws or anything. It just snaps in. It just goes in like gauge in. Plug that in. There we go with like that. So then your glove box. Make sure that's plugged in like so. And then this kind of just just fits together like that. You're not you're not in on the you know, gauge. It'll go. That comes forward, that goes in, like there, and now we can put these in. Oh, overkill. That is the hard part, for sure. But what we're going to do is we're going to put this glove box cover back on. Doing. But again, like the last time, I found it best to actually rest it against a sled so that it, it stops it from vibrating around. So all we gotta do is mark that with my pencil. So once we figure out where we want this to go, like that, we'll just give her a mark with the pencil. And then we can take it over to the bench and drill it out. So we set that on there, we're gonna drill two holes. On the back side, we'll put this just like that. We're going to put that on the inside. Tighten that sucker down like that. That's nice. not going to go anywhere, even with two on it. So there's your, your covers done. Now we have the ball installed. If you watch the, uh, the last video, which I'll put a link in the description, I showed you how to make the actual phone bag and uh, simple parts off of Amazon. They're very inexpensive. And you can order this from motojungle.ca.
It's the iPhone charger holder. And I'll also put a link in the description to the actual wireless charger. Nice thing about the wireless charger is it actually generates heat because it makes the phone work a little bit harder to maintain charge. So um, all you have to do is it's a USB-C plug on the uh, side of the charger. Plug that in, drop it into your case. We will attach the RAM connector to the ball. We'll attach the other ball on the back of the case to the, the phone case. I'm actually gonna flip this around so the wire comes out where the zippers join. And then we're gonna open up the glove box and we're gonna plug in the power cord to the USB. This will actually fish out the side like so. You can open up the glove box even with it on, see that? You can run Polaris Ride Command if you want. You can run BRP Go. Run whatever app you want. Throw a GPS in there if you like and, and just run a regular GPS. Cripe, you could run Google Maps or Waze, um, anything you want. The nice thing about this is unlike the Gen 5 sitting back there where you actually have to plug the phone into the charger, in this case here you don't. You just now zip it in like that. And like I said, I make the zippers join right, right there. And, uh, and away we go. The neat thing is you can run this vertically like this. I'm going to turn this so the camera can see it. You can run it vertically like that, or you can run it horizontal if you like, um, whatever you weigh. I always like running it vertically because you see more of the, 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 uh, the map ahead of you. And then I just want to show you that, um, as soon as we, as soon as we power on, this phone will start charging. There we go, it turned into charge. So it charges your phone while you ride, just like that. Nice thing is if you want to get your phone out to take a picture, it's as easy as just popping it out, switching over to your photo app, and you're 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 shooting, you're shooting your photo. Nothing is uh, is interrupted. Drop it back in the holder, zip it up, and you're off to the races. Works out great. Like I can't say enough. Like it's a simple, cheap fixed to if you want to run maps or gps on your snowmobile and uh, with brp go you can download all the maps you can see here i think it says uh, um, gps signal is poor on there uh, but uh, you can download the maps if you want to get the region that you're riding in and away you go if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below but uh, i hope that helps uh, you get maps on your uh, gen 4 snowmobile